And in this case, like, well, we already know, but since, since the, um, since the work function is less than the total energy we have, we know it's going to have leftover potential. That's right. That's a good question. Suppose that, um, in fact, the original amount of energy had been 3 times 10 to the negative 19. If we had shot a photon with 3 times 10 to the negative 19 energy at the gadolinium, what would have happened? Um, it would have nothing. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't have enough energy to remove the electrons, so basically nothing would happen. So that's why the work function is a kind of a threshold that we have to get over. Okay. So um, that's right. Would this be a higher frequency or a lower frequency than the uh, lower the, frequency? Yeah. Longer wavelength. That's right. OK, good. Looks like you guys have the basic idea of the basic intuition here. Like I said, it's a good idea for these problems to actually draw a picture like this that shows the photon coming in and then the two places that its energy gets split between. Um, the work that it takes to remove the electron and then whatever is left over is the kinetic energy of the electron that goes shooting away. Good.